and Saddam loved fish. And I was like, oh, oh, uh -huh. So we started talking to this guy. Finds out he cooks for Saddam and he knows where he's at. I don't care what you're doing, you're still going with me, right? And I'm on the radio going, hey, listen, I'm gonna do a follow on mission. I'm gonna tie this cook to the front of the pander. He's gonna point it out and we're gonna go. And they're like, return to base. I'm like, listen, you don't get it. I'm gonna put him up, he's gonna point, we're gonna drive there, we're gonna get Saddam. He goes, return to base. Roll back to the palace that we were in when we started. Found my boss and I started to chew his ass because I was so mad. And he goes, shut up and come here. And I followed him into this room and it was one of those things where I opened the door and I looked to the left and I'm like, salt and pepper beard out to here with a leaf in it and just standing there handcuffed at a plastic table. And he shuts the door and I go, holy sh that's him? He goes, yeah. I go, it looks like dirty Uncle Fester, right? <laughs> He, he apparently spoke a little English and knew who Fester was or, or just didn't like me and spit on me. Yeah. Saddam spit on yeah. me. I imagined myself knocking him out. But I looked at him and I said, it's okay. You'll be dead soon.